Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to measure the left ventricular diameters. We can measure the diastolic and systolic linear dimension in the parasternal long axis view. By doing this, we can have an estimation of the left ventricular size and function. However, if the linear dimension is abnormal or if there is any relevant pathology, we have to measure the volume using the 3D or Simpsons method. Get your parasternal long axis view and measure the diameters at the base of the heart, below the level of the mitral valve leaflet tips. From the septal endocardial border, to the posterior wall endocardial border. First, I'm going to show you how to measure the diastolic diameter. Get your parasternal long axis view and freeze the image at the end of diastole. Now you're ready to measure the diastolic diameter at the base of the heart from the septal endocardial border to the posterior wall endocardial border. Now to measure the systolic diameter, we are going to freeze the image at the end of systole. And we are ready to measure the systolic diameter from the septal endocardial border to the posterior wall endocardial border at the base of the heart. With these two linear dimensions, you can estimate the left ventricular size and the ejection fraction by Ditchholz method. Just remember, if the left ventricle is dilated or if you find any regional wall motion abnormalities, you have to measure the volume using 3D or Simpsons biplane method. That's all for today. Remember to like this video and subscribe. Bye!